hi guys welcome back to another video in this video i am going to share the cognizant interview question which are asked in the recent interview and thank you for the subscriber who shared the interview questions with me and if you want to share the interview questions with me mail details are in the description below so you can send the questions which will help the other as well who are preparing for the interview right now and these are all the real interview questions and uh, like if you are struggling with the interviews please note down all the questions and prepare for them and uh, like i'm sure you will like clear all your interviews in the future and before like starting the video i want to thank all of you for your love and support likes and comments and feedback for my previous videos thank you so much and in this video like uh, i have video in the two parts this is the part one where i will share the interview questions which are related to core java design pattern java 8 spring boot there are microservices questions as well at the end and the programming questions as well so make sure you watch this video till the very end because if you miss any of the question and which is very important there will be a big problem for you so make sure you watch this, this video till the very end and like this video and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my other channel as well i will go to the first question which is which version of java you are using so uh, like you need to tell which version of, of java you are using it can be java 8 can it can be java 11 it can be java 17 be honest about it and tell that because if you lie about it the interviewer may ask the other question related to that because uh, suppose the like uh, the requirement is for java 11 and you because of the requirement and because of the jd you told that you know java 11 as well so in that case interviewer may ask about java 11 or uh, other versions as well so it will be very difficult for you to tell the answer so be honest with you like uh, be honest and tell the with the honesty the whichever version you are using currently okay so the next question is tell me the feature of java 8 you are using in your project so the like uh, the candidate must have told about java 8 that's why the interviewer after this question the interviewer asks this question as well which is the feature of java 8 so whatever features you have used in java 8 in your project you need to tell those or whatever you know exactly know you have to tell those features as well so there are multiple features which are available in java 8 like there are stream apis there are function interfaces there are lambda expression optional classes are there then datetime api which was introduced recently and uh, like uh, uh, there are multiple things which are available if if interviewer tell you to tell each and every feature in detail then you must know uh, what are the different details about java 8 uh, like features of java 8 so you need to tell all all these things about java 8 so i have uh, like spoke about uh, multiple things in the past in many of my previous videos as well so if you haven't seen any other videos uh, make sure you watch those videos uh, again so you will get an idea about that so the next question is what is stream so what is stream api so stream api is a feature of java 8 which was introduced in java 8 and it's a kind of a like a process to iterate the collection in a better way in a better manner so why because it provides multiple uh, intermediate and terminal operations to process the collections and it is not a separate data structure means it is not storing the data in a data structure so you can you can convert any data structure like list set or map or anything in a, into a stream array or anything into a stream and then perform certain operations so suppose you want to filter some value based on certain conditions so you can use filter method or suppose you want to perform certain functions on the particular uh, collections so you can use a uh, map or flat map in that case so after that you, suppose you want to find the maximum or minimum or you want to sort something so there are multiple functions or method available in the stream api you can use all of them and you can find the appropriate solution for that in the easy and readable form so that is stream api so interview like the chances are interviewer may ask the uh, like a programming question on stream api as well so i have covered multiple questions on my channel previous on the previous videos as well so make sure you watch those videos as well to understand uh, like uh, and do like great preparation for your interviews okay so that is the thing about stream api and uh, how it works now like uh, there are two types of stream api a parallel stream and uh, second was it just stream 
ओके एंड दैट इज़ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एज वेल सो इंटरव्यूर आज दैट देर देर इज अ टू टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रीम्स वन इज पैरल स्ट्रीम एंड अदर वन इज जस्ट स्ट्रीम सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम सो इफ यू लाइक पैरल स्ट्रीम एज द नेम सजेस्ट डूइंग द थिंग पैरलली मीन्स मल्टीपल थ्रेड्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन दैट इन द केस ऑफ स्ट्रीम ओनली सिंगल थ्रेड इज वर्किंग ऑन दैट सो पैरल स्ट्रीम इज यूज इज यूजिंग मल्टीपल थ्रेड्स एंड स्ट्रीम इज यूजिंग सिंगल थ्रेड्स दैट्स वाई पैरल स्ट्रीम इज फास्ट एंड स्ट्रीम इज स्लो अफकोर्स दे यूज द सेम थिंग आई मीन दे डू द सेम थिंग बट पैरल स्ट्रीम इज फास्ट एंड स्ट्रीम इज स्लो बट देर आर डिसएडवाटेजेज इज वेल इन द केस ऑफ पैरल स्ट्रीम मल्टीपल थ्रेड्स आर इन्वॉल्व दैट्स वाई द चांसेज आर द डेटा एम्बिगिटी कैन हैपन बिकॉज वन थ्रेड इज अपडेटिंग द डेटा एंड अनदर थ्रेड इज रीडिंग द data at the same time so the chances are the sequence may be different the execution sequence may be different okay so because of that uh, that is the disadvantage of uh, parallel stream otherwise it is fast compared to stream in the case of stream uh, the like like execution order will be same always because only one thread is working on that so that is the main difference between stream and parallel stream and that is one of the very important question in in the interview so the next question is what are the all collection you have used so in this question you have to tell what whatever collection you have used in your uh, day to day coding because the like uh, whichever you tell uh, the interviewer may ask the question revolves around them suppose you tell array list link list or hash map whatever you tell interview uh, the next question will be on the same topic as well so in that case as well when uh, the interview told that uh, uh, he knows about uh, uh, array list and link list the next thing interviewer asks that uh, what is the difference between array list and link list what is the difference between array list and link list so the both implements list interface both implement list interface the, but, but the main difference is array list works just like an array it is based on array internally it uses array that has a fixed size of course it can increase the size dynamically as well but initially it has a fixed size and linked list uh, like based on the nodes okay that nodes are related to each other so the similarities are both keeps ordering and both allow duplicates but the main difference is uh, it is array list is based on array and linked list is based on, based on nodes so whenever in the case of array whenever you delete something from the middle of array it will be very hard to shift all other elements so shifting is not easy in the case of array lists but in the case of a uh, linked list the nodes are interrelated with each other like uh, one node is having address of the other node so suppose you are deleting some node okay so in that case you just need to change the address the node address okay whichever node uh, next node it is referring it will uh, like uh, uh, refer next to next node if you delete the middle element so the shifting is easy in the case of linked list but in the case of array list shifting is hard because uh, like you need to shift a lot of data and uh, apart from that in the case of array list apart from shifting there is one more thing which is very important and uh, which is i think uh, let me know in the comment section what what are what are what is the other thing which uh, which is very important let me know in the comment section i will i will move to the next question uh, this time okay okay so the next question is very easy and very very common question for uh, for uh, people who are experienced two year three year four year five year and some senior level as well can you tell me how hash map internally works and of course there is some changes as well in the case of hash map in the case of latest version but uh, first of all how hash map works internally so hash map based on uh, like hashing technique and it stores values as a key and value pair so whenever you are storing something you will use put method of hash map and pass key and value pair and what it will do internally it will apply hashing algorithm on the key and based on the hashing algorithm it will find the node from the uh, like there is node type of structure node with like uh, array type of structure which has a fixed size 16 and these node uh, whenever like uh, you apply hashing and you find the node number pointed to that node you will create a linked list 
and there you will save the actual value so of course it's a very long topic and you have to refer some of the other videos to like understand in detail so i am in this video i am explaining you in very shortly it will be very good very helpful for the revision and everything so uh, like this this is how hash map internally works so there is some new feature which has been added after java 8 so you need to comment it down uh, in this video what was the new feature in terms of java 8 has been added in the hash map okay so uh, now i will go to the uh, next question which is how the hash map maintains the collision collision means like suppose you have a same keys same keys then uh, it, it can be considered as collision situation so in that case hash map internally uses equals and hash code method it overrides equals and hash code method and uh, it maintains the collision so when you read uh, like I, I, uh, I will I will give you a link in the description for, for a very good video on hash map which will be very helpful uh, to understand about hash map and uh, like in that it will cover everything how hash map internally works and how it maintains the collision and everything so make sure you watch that video as well i will jump to the next video which is so if two hash codes are same how it determines which key you are looking for so as i earlier mentioned uh, uh, while answering the uh, like uh, earlier question in hash map hash code like uh, determines which key are looking for based on the uh, equals and hash code method so in the case of hash map it has a number of buckets which is used to store key and value pairs and each bucket has a unique number that's what identifies the bucket okay so you have 0 to 16 buckets okay and when you put a key value pair into the map the hash map will look at the hash code of the key and stores the pair in the bucket of which the identifier is the hash code of the key for example the hash code of the key is uh, suppose 235 so the pair is stored in the bucket number 235 okay so uh, when you look up a value in the hash map by giving it a key it will first look at the hash code of the key that you gave the hash code will be then look into the corresponding bucket and then it will compare the key that you give uh, that you will give the uh, with the key of all the pair in the bucket by comparing them by uh, with the help of equals method now you can see how this is very efficient for looking up key and value pair in the map by the hash code of the key and hash map immediately knows that which bucket to look so that it will only has to test against what is in the bucket okay so this is the mechanism it uses by using the equals and hash code method and it identify it determine which key it should look so this is the answer for this question and uh, i'm sure you will get an idea and uh, okay how to answer this question okay so the next question is have you heard about concurrent hash map what is the use of concurrent hash map so uh, like if you really worked on concurrent hash map you can answer this question otherwise i am giving you some idea how you can answer this question so concurrent hash map is not a part of collection framework it's a separate thing concurrent hash map is not a part of hash map hash hash uh, collection sorry and concurrent hash map was introduced uh, like to get the concurrency to get the multi threading in the while using hash map now you will think or interview may ask that while hash table was already available for the synchronization purpose why they introduce concurrent hash map so the concurrent hash map has its own benefit over uh, hash uh, like uh, hash map and uh, synchronized hash map and other thing or hash table as well so in the case of concurrent hash map while reading the data multiple threads are allowed but in the case of writing the data only one thread is allowed so that so how it will work it is thread safe so thread safe means multiple threads can operate on a single object without any complications and multiple threads can read the data at the same time and in the case of writing <coughs> sorry in the case of writing only one thread allow so there will be no ambiguity if i talk about synchronized map or uh, uh, hash table there are few differences we will talk about these differences in uh, later any of the other video 
and uh, uh, okay so uh, i will tell you the difference between synchronized hash map and concurrent hash map this, because that is also a very important question in the case of synchronized hash map only one thread is allowed while reading and writing the data in the case of concurrent hash map multiple threads are allowed while reading the data but while writing the data only one thread is allowed so that is the main difference okay so let's jump to the next question quickly let's uh, select the next question which is can you tell me few of the features of spring boot what is the benefit of spring boot okay so you need to tell the features of spring boot that is very important question and one of the very easy question in terms of spring boot because if you dig deeper in the details of spring boot there are multiple very tough questions available so if we talk about features of spring boot spring boot provides a rapid application uh, development rapidly you can develop an applica application with a minimum set of configuration so as a developer you don't need to worry about the configuration part you just need to like uh, you can uh, create a web application in very fast manner using the spring boot so there are multiple features available of spring boot like it provides uh, yaml support so uh, just like application properties uh, you can have application yaml files as well so that is one thing it also you can also uh, develop web application using this then it's a uh, like a, instead of uh, uh, starting your application uh, like starting of your application is very easy because there is a file called main which has a main class so you just need to run that file and another feature is it has uh, tomcat embedded server embedded tomcat server so you don't need to add deploy your application to an external server there's a there's a jar of a tomcat which is available in the spring boot application and that create an instance of tomcat and deploy your application on that okay and you have a, like a, a configuration separately as well okay and logging and testing is also provided by spring boot so there are multiple features which are available in spring which, which uh, boot which can be used to create any application so i'm sure uh, this video will be helpful for you and in this uh, in the next part of this video because this video is already very long in the next part of video we will discuss some of the important microservices question which are very important okay and when you practice or read about this question i'm sure you will clear any interview which is based on microservices and spring boot so the next interview will be based on uh, microservices and everything so i'm sure you uh, you you will watch that uh, video as well i think that video will be available first for the uh, premium members what do you call uh, these uh, uh, platinum members and later it will be available for everyone so if you have are not a platinum members you can become a platinum member by joining uh, our our team our channel and it is less than a cost of a pizza and it will be very benefit for you because uh, you will get a lot of new questions you will get a lot of new questions in a real time real interview questions so you if you uh, when you practice them it will be very well helpful for you and thank you so much for watching this video i have sub, uh, another hindi channel as well subscribe that as well subscribe this channel as well thank you so much